Okay, let's talk about two-step equations. And if you're in any sort of algebra course, you're going to have to learn how to solve a lot of equations. And of course, before you get into two-step equations, you're probably going to end up having to solve something called a one-step equation. So if you're thinking to yourself, hey, uh, this is two steps, is there equations with one step? Yes, there is. And I have posted uh, several videos on one-step uh, equations. So if you don't know how to solve one-step equations, and these would be equations like this. Let me give you an example. Something like 2y equals um, 10. Here, uh, literally, we just take one step to solve this basic type of equation, okay? Of course, here, we're going to be talking about two steps, and then ultimately, uh, when you uh, study algebra, you do things of what we call multi-step equations, but, um, you know, it's just like steps, you know, you're climbing uh, stairs to an actual step. You take one step, and you take two steps, and then once you master those first couple steps, you can go as high as you want. Same idea in algebra. And uh, here we're looking at an example of a two-step equation. So our first step in this little basic example was to add one to both sides of the equation. And then our second step was to divide both sides of the equation by two and we get the solution. So this is what we're gonna be talking about in this particular video. And uh, again, this is just gonna be a quick uh, crash lesson, a quick review on this. So even if you understand these uh, problems, you're gonna to wanna to follow through and practice more. But we're gonna we're going to get uh, to all of this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But I have been teaching math for decades and I have come to the belief that anyone and everyone can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, you have to be willing to, uh, to do the work, okay? So if you don't want to study, if you don't want to do the homework, et cetera, then you're not going to, you know, uh, be successful in mathematics. So you got to be willing to do the work. But the second thing uh, people need to be successful in, math in, in mathematics is a lot of clear and understandable instruction. You know, instruction that students, you know, like and understand, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, definitely check out my math help program if you're having any difficulties or if you just want to get ahead in uh, your math class. Now, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test with a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT. Uh, maybe a teacher certification exam. There's a ton of exams out there like the ASVAB that have math sections on it. Um, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, my middle and high school math courses were just recently voted number one by a major homeschool publisher. Very excited about that achievement. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into two-step equations. Again, I'm kind of assuming that you understand one-step equations, but even if you don't quite uh, understand one-step equations, I would say just continue to watch this video and then follow through because you'll probably get the main idea here um, in a second. But let's get right to it and talk about the two, uh, two steps you're gonna be uh, taking to solve these type of two-step equations, right? All right, so the first step that you're gonna be taking for two-step equations is you're either gonna add a, uh, a number uh, to both sides of the equation or subtract, okay? So it's gonna be either addition or subtraction on both sides of the equation. You can see here, we're adding the same number on both sides of the equation. So either addition or subtraction, that's step number one. And then our second step to get to the, uh, to the solution for these type of equations is you're going to be dividing, like in here, I'm dividing both sides of the equation by two. So you're going to be dividing by uh, both sides of the equation by the same number, or um, uh, you're going to be multiplying. I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about here. So these are the two primary steps to get to the solution uh, of a two-step uh, equation. And let me go ahead and show you a couple of quick examples. Remember, this is by no means a complete full lesson on this because uh, we really want to break things. We want to review one-step equations, etc. So if, again, if you're not quite sure what I'm doing, go back and check out one-step equations. But let's take a look at this example. I have 3y plus 2 is equal to 14. You can see I already did the work in advance, but let's talk about um, how we know whether we're going to add or subtract for our first step. Well, here I have 3y plus 2 is equal to 14. I want to get the 3y by itself, okay? I want to just get my variable term all by itself on the left-hand side. So I want to get rid of this 2 here, okay? Remember, when you're solving equations, 
effectively you want to get all your variables on the left and all your numbers on the right so here I have this 2 and I'm like well I want to get rid of that number on the left hand side and move it to the right hand side so the way we can do that in algebra is we could just subtract uh, a 2 from this positive 2 so that would just create 0 on this hand side uh, this left hand side but remember the primary golden rule of algebra whatever you do to one side of the equation you got to do the exact same thing on the other side so here I have 3y plus 2 is equal to 14 I'm like okay I'm gonna get rid of this 2 I'm gonna subtract a 2 from this side but I also got to subtract a 2 from that side so that's the first step uh, that we're gonna take in this equation we're subtracting um, the same numbers from both sides the same number from both sides of the equation and now you're just gonna add down in a column manner so 3y plus nothing is going to be 3y 2 a positive 2 minus 2 is 0 that goes away so we don't need to write a 0 there so it's just 3y and then 14 minus 2 is 12 okay so here what we did is basically we took this equation and now we wrote it in a simpler way okay this right here this 3y equals 12 this is in fact a one-step equation okay it only requires one step uh, so what's uh, is that step to solve for y well that's going to be uh, division okay so here 3y equal to 12 hopefully again you know how to solve one step equations all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3 okay and I get my solution which is going to be y is equal to 12 divided by 3 which is 4 okay so this is the solution Okay, so if you understand this, you're like, yeah, I got this down. I understand this perfectly. Well, let me go ahead and give you a little happy face for being such an awesome math student. But let's move on to one more example. Here, again, I talked about uh, using division. But let's take a look at an example. We're going to use multiplication on our second uh, step. Okay, so here uh, we have uh, 2 fifths h minus 1 is equal to 3. Okay, so we're going to uh, need to take our first step. Again, it's either going to be addition or subtraction. So this is um, uh, 2 fifths h minus 1. So again, I want to get this, I want to get the variable term all by itself. So I got a negative 1 here. So let's add a 1 to this minus 1 that creates a 0. So if I add a 1 to the left hand side, I have to eat, do the exact same thing on the other side of the equation. Remember, that's the golden rule of algebra when we're solving equations. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do equally to the other side. Okay, so now we just add down now in a column manner. 2 fifths h plus nothing is 2 fifths h. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Okay, so that's what we want. And then 3 plus 1 is 4. All right, so now I went from here to here. These equations are equivalent. Okay, but this is awesome. Because this right here is just a one-step equation. So we took um, this equation, we took one step, right? So we're talking about two steps. If I took if I took one step, well, I'm now down to just one more step, right? So again, uh, before you uh, master two-step equations, you have to know these one-step equations. And this is an example of a one-step equation. So I have 2 fifths h equals 4. So... A lot of you out there would, would say to yourself, well, can we just divide both sides of the equation by two-fifths? Like here, isn't technically, you know, aren't we supposed to just divide the number in front of that variable like this? And in fact, yes, that is true. Okay, you could do that, but that's not really the way you want to do things. Anytime you have what we call a coefficient, that's a fraction, the number in front of the variable like this, what you want to do to solve for the variable, once, it's, once you have that term by itself and one number, the easiest way to solve for the variable is to flip this fraction upside down. Okay, that's called the reciprocal. So two-fifths, if I flip it upside down, I have five halves. And now I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by five halves because five halves times two-fifths is going to be one or one H, one H or H. That's what I want. I want to know what H is all by itself. So I can uh, get a 1h if I multiply by the reciprocal. So remember that um, little you know, concept when you're dealing with a, uh, a fraction in front of a variable, like in a one-step equation, this is the best approach. So we're going to multiply now, not divide, right? Multiply both sides of the equation by 5 halves. And when I do that, I get 1h or h is equal to uh, four, um, 4 over 1 times five halves anytime you have just a number like four times five halves and you're like wait where's the you know this is not a fraction i can't no 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 just put it over one and you can see your denominator there so we're going to end up with what four times five is 20 
20 divided by 2 is 10. Or you can see uh, the 2 goes into this 4, 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Either way, the solution is h is equal to 10. Okay, so how did you do with uh, two-step equation? Do you understand all this? Okay, uh, even if you didn't quite get everything, okay, the, you know that's uh, not the whole point of this video. You know, you might you might want to rewatch this. I do have additional videos on. I have actually I actually have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel on equations, so you might want to follow through on that. But here's the deal: um, in order for you to truly build a math skill. Okay, like solving equations, you have to do the work. You have to follow through. And these are only a few examples. You're going to want to do a lot of these type of problems. But again, start with one-step equations, all right? First, learn how to take one step. It's just like that old, you know, how we kind of grew up. We had to learn how to crawl before we uh, learn how to walk, before we learn how to run. Same deal here. Get those one-step equations down, then master these two-step equations, and then you can get into more interesting stuff in multi-step equations, okay? All right, so if this video helped you out in some small, tiny way, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos on my channel from basic math to advanced math, my calculus and everything in between. So if you like my uh, teaching style, please take advantage of my content, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.